Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you 7 small little things that I've learned being a student athlete uh, since 7 years ago. So I get this question a lot, like how do I manage my time like studying while doing triathlon? To me, it's quite normal already. To be honest, I don't really find anything special about what I do. But if I were to give like 7 small tips, then I guess this would be it. So the first tip is to bring a packed food from home. Packing a food from home will not only save you money, but also quite a bit of time as well. It'll save you the travel time and the queuing time and the paying the cashier time and also traveling back to your class. So if you bring enough snacks then you don't have to spend money or travel to buy food at all. Yeah so even though your bag might be a little bit heavier because you are bringing so much food, I think it's worth it because it definitely saves you a little bit of time. And also you can eat during class, that's a bonus. Uh, tip number two is if you can plan your school schedule like during university, I like to put my school days or my rest days because that means during class time you are actually recovering and you don't have to work out because if you don't put your school days on your rest days um, you just be at home lying in bed because you cannot exercise anyway is because it's your rest day so the third tip is to wear your sports attire to school as much as possible so you don't have to bring another set of clothing and sometimes you don't even need to bring an extra pair of shoes and so your school bag will definitely be lighter this is not really a time management hack oh it can be because it kind of saves you time from keep changing your clothes. It's those little minutes that count. My seniors also taught me to wear slippers instead of shoes if there's swim training after school because um, you have to wear your socks and then you have to tie your laces if you wear shoes. But if you wear slippers, you can just slip out and then you are ready to jump in the pool. Wear slippers to school for swim training and then wear running shoes to school for run training after school. Fourth tip I have is to make your training the motivation uh, to finish your work. Because now you have less time before training to finish your work, the time becomes more precious and when your time becomes more precious, I tend to use it more purposefully. So imagine if I didn't have training, after, after school I would like procrastinate until like the end of the day and then I'll do the work. But if I have training, somehow the time is more precious to me. Like I'll be more motivated to use that time to study. So yeah, I'll just use training as a motivation to get my work done. So I think now is the fifth tip or fourth tip? Fifth tip. Okay, so the fifth tip is to bring a recovery ball or a massage stick to class. So a recovery ball looks something like this. It's quite a hard ball for you to compress your muscles. And yeah, the compression is supposed to help you recover faster. Like during class while you're sitting and listening to your lectures, you can just put the ball underneath your thigh or on your calf and then rub against the chair or something. So that's the secret of how to maximize recovery time during a lecture. Number six is more applicable to cyclists and triathletes. If you can cycle to school, you can make it as part of your training as well. So obviously I won't cycle my racing bike to school. In 2019, I bought a cheap road bike just for commuting to school and it definitely saved a lot of time. I found out it's faster than public transport and I get to log in my cycling activity for the day. So after two years of having that commuting bike, I've already made back my money and it also helps me get another two to two and a half extra hours of cycling a week. I recognize that some people like live in Johor or somewhere super far from school so cycling to school might not be the best idea for everybody but if you can maybe you can cycle to the bus station or the train station then maybe that will also cut your commuting time to school and that's how you get extra few minutes of your day. Alright so tip number seven I think this is the last tip if you can do your workouts at home for example you have a treadmill in your condo or you have a cycling trainer a gym or weights at home you can watch tutorials or attend your zoom lectures while you're exercising so that's what I did uh, last semester when all my classes were on zoom so for almost every class last semester I'll spend the first half of the class on my bike cycling while listening to the lecture that definitely helps you save a lot of time in fact just this monday i was having class just beside the swimming pool so those are a few little things that might help student athletes to just squeeze out a little bit more time in your day i know that these tips may not like give you an extra hour or two hours Except for the last one, if you have a Zoom lecture, you can work out a lot. Yeah, so I know that not everybody watching my videos are students, but maybe some tips may be applicable to you and your workplace as well. Oh yeah, so if you guys also want to share your tips, please let me know down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!